looking ahead to tonight's game against the Metro Alliance, uh, like I mentioned, a big fourth place battle, a chance to not only pass the Metro Alliance, but also get right back in the thick of the playoff race. Exactly. Uh, it's a very important uh, game for us tonight. Uh, the Lions, a uh, new team, the CPSL, and uh, they seem to be a strong team uh, when you look at the points that they have, so uh, they cannot be underestimated. Uh, but um, our, our team has uh, confidence and uh, they, we want to win this game. It's very important for us. Uh, uh, you know, to, we want to uh, definitely want to make the playoffs and uh, this is a very, very important game for us tonight. Okay, Rudy Kuhnhold, assistant coach of the Vaughn Sun Devils. For more on tonight's game, let's go up to the booth. Here are John Bartlett and Bobby Rundawa. Thank you as well. The addition of uh, Tony Marshall and Willie Tamara, the two new uh, players that have joined the Sun Devils here, have fit in well with this team, haven't they? Oh, they certainly have fit in very, very well. The Vaughn Sun Devils in their usual red and black, while the Metro Lions are in the white with the black trim for this game. As we mentioned, a big one here when it comes to standings and positioning for playoffs so the playoffs still a little ways down the road every win counts and this one is a big one for both these teams Samuel Hazon will just toss it back to Paul Hillman for the throw in here who's menace back to the captain Dave McDonald Tony Marshall well, the newcomers here to the Sun Devils had a solid outing in his last match. There's a break. Bob DeFerry in front. Can't get the shot away. Not a good start for the Sun Devils. Uh, I believe they're playing 3-4-3, three, uh, three, three, the Metro Lions. It was Rob DeFerry who was coming down on the left side. Trying to get the ball back to the front. Middle in front of the goal and work. Corner here now for the Metro Lions. Cleared back out. We'll have another corner. Like Granza. We'll take it. For the Lions. For the goal. A header and a goal. And the Metro Lions score first and strike early here in the first minute of the game. I don't know, guys were just sleeping at the back. Uh, no one no one, no one, was marking the guy who just came in. Uh, didn't catch his name there. Just go, nodded the ball in. Well, I'm not quite sure who got their head on that one, but it is a 1-0 lead now. for the Metro Alliance. Well, not a good way to start off the game at all. But uh, hopefully the Sun Devils can get it together. It is Mike Glasgow that gets credit for the goal at the one minute mark. One nil for the Metro Alliance and now the Sun Devils will try and get something going here to retaliate. There's a strike right to the keeper, Patrick Bradley. Makes a quick save and throws it upfield as Mamma Mamma Doglu at the kick. It's going to be a throw in here for the Metro Lions. Okumu taking it. Paul Okumu lost it. Gus Kuzmanis with it. Plays it up the middle. Back down. And out of the goal is Patrick Bradley, the keeper, to snag the ball for the Lions. Blocked by McDonald, but right back in. It's Paul Hillman. Ahead, Samuel Hazen. Bouncing one on Bayate Smith. He controls it. Back to McDonald. This is Chris Turner with it. I believe Marco is offside, not Gus there, but uh, tough call. Marco is walking back. That 
bouncing ball. Mine on. Mine on. Hillman tries to get to it for the Sun Devils. Get some help now from Mamadoglu. Yeah, some good pressure there. Hillman cornered him, cornered him into the flank. And now there's a hurt lion on the play. Yeah, I believe uh, Med went for the ball, but uh, he had already gotten there before him. I believe uh, Mehmed had just stepped on him with his uh, studs. It's been that type of game so far. A lot of, a lot of little, little challenges here and there, slowing down the game. He'll get back up. Paul Hillman will take the throw in for the Sun Devils. Here's another look at it. Well, at least the aftermath. Paul Hillman. Let's see if the Sun Devils can get a good ball in there. He got a couple players in the box. Marshall will go after it for Vaughn. And all wrapped up there. It'll be a kick for the Sun Devils. Okay, Dave McDonald, the captain, will handle it. See yes, Chris Turner wide open on the left. left. I don't know if uh, Dave McDonald sees him here yet. Yes, he does. Yeah. Exactly where he goes. Donald and Turner trying to spread open the field a little here and stretch everyone out and find a hole. There's Chris Turner. Turner trying to play it up to Tommy Kuzmanis. Easily blocked by the Lions though. It's just that final ball right now that's letting down the Sun Devils. Dave McDonald. Tony Marshall up ahead. Tamara. Maite Smith back to Turner. Tommy Kuzmanis. Kuzmanis goes up and over. Didn't like that one. Paul Hillman now. Trying to come back. Turner can't win the challenge. Here's a break for Mason. And Mason gets tied up by Willie Jamara, and Jamara was trying to argue the fact that Mason was offside. Yeah, but and with that argue, he lost a step on Mason. Yeah, Mason's a quick, quick player there, and I believe Willie, that's where the experience comes into play, I believe. Uh, he knew he had to, had, to, had to grab his uh, shirt. And we have a yellow card now that was assessed to Willie Jamara. So Jamara gets dinged for that one there, and really that's that's no surprise. Yeah, there you see he's got his shirt there. Yeah, smart, smart veteran play there. Well, now it'll be a kick here for the Lions. <coughs> Alagranza will take it. The wall set up for the Sun Devils. And they go right into the wall. It's all that... Uh, against Jason Baker, so I believe it's the Sun Devils that are going to end up with a kick here. Yes, it is. Let's see if the Sun Devils can make something good of this. Yeah, Tommy is putting a little bit of pressure on back there. Ball was loose. I'm not too sure uh, what the ref is calling there. <laughs> well, it's Willie Jamara or Tommy Kuzmanis who will take the kick here. They're both behind the ball. Let's see what they're going to do. It's Jamara, that'll chip it. Kuzmanis with a strike. He tried to go below the wall, and it didn't work. And I don't think he got everything he wanted on that either. No, I believe the ball just uh, hopped on off of the ground just a little bit too much for him. The plan seemed to make a little sense, try and get the ball underneath the wall when they jump. And now there's an injured Metro Lion player. Emil Kellex Stereo is down on the ground let's have a look again to the kick yeah i believe he hit down on the ball and just caught it wrong i 
Emil Calix Stereo being attended to. Back up on his feet. But as we were talking earlier, as far as having games in hand, and this is where I feel uh, Sun Devils, we've got to concentrate a little bit better throughout the game. As the first goal that they had scored, it just a uh, guy came in from nowhere and uh, just nodded the ball through. Calix Stereo back on his feet. Paul Hillman will have the throw in here for the Sun Devils. Jamara, chip pass over to Paul Hillman. He's in the left side. It's it high over to Tommy Kuzmanis. Little header back to Gus Kuzmanis. Front of the goal cleared away. Nice sequence of events there. Ayete Smith tries to get over to Tommy Kuzmanis. He looked to chip it back to the front of the goal and then... It's a little bit more like it. Jason Baker tried to clear it. Went off Gus Kuzmanis. It was Jason Baker that had blocked Tommy Kuzmanis on the first attempt. Patrick Bradley, the keeper now, will handle the goal kick for the Metro Lions here. He gave the Sun Devils could put a little bit more pressure on the back three. Uh, that you might be, maybe get uh, some of them to cough up the ball a little quicker. We are in the 18th minute of the first half. 1-0, Metro Lions lead. Well by Mike Glasgow for the Lions in the First minute of the game on a header off a corner kick. Emil Calixterio is back. Lions back upfield. Calixterio waits for the ball on the right side, now gets it. Harsh tackle there by uh, Samuel. Samuel Hazan. Has to be careful, I believe. Getting a warning here. I don't think the next time the referee's going to give him a warning. Mason will at the strike that goes well wide and out of play. And now it'll be a goal kick here as Rupp will chip here. Emadoglu with a stop by Bradley, and then he comes up with the ball. Very nice strike by Mehmed. As you can see, the keeper let go of the ball. That was from a good distance out, too, by Mehmedoglu. And again, Samuel Hazon for the second time this game, racing into the goal, has to jump over the keepers. He's right on top of the action there, hoping for a loose ball that he can chip in. Very aggressive style. Gilman tried to knock that one back, but it was caught up in his feet, and his momentum brought him out over the line, so it'll be a throw in again for the Metro Lions. Hanging on to it. Is it? The Hillman. Chip ahead, nobody home, and the Lions get it back. This is where I feel the Sun Devil should win the game. Crushing them. Now a big race for it here, and Rob Tilly, the keeper who thought about going out, he had to hit the brakes and retreat to the net. And a big strike there on the right side by Emil Calixterio, and he puts it well over the goal. But some good speed, though, shown by the Metro Lions there, breaking down on the left side. As you can see, the, the ball that came into Emil, I believe there were two more Metro Lions play, players there. So the Sun Devils got to be a little bit sharp in the back to, to know that the guys are going to be coming in. Let's go back to the first minute now and take a look at the only goal of this match as it comes off the head of Mike Glasgow. I believe it just went in between Tilly and the med on the first post or the back post there. Calix Dario played it up for the Lions. Sits at center. Knocked up ahead by Jamara. back up and that one's gonna go out. It'll be a throw in here for the Bond Sun Devils. Hey, 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 hey,
Mike Glasgow now with it. Drops it back, Courtney Dennis. Back to Glasgow, front of the goal, saved by Tilly, but it was blowing down on an offside of the Lions. Good move by Courtney Dennis to get the ball out wide. And like again, Metro Lion players are running into the box. This is Gus Guzmanis with it. Try to chip it up ahead. Now it does, but the Lions are on it. Paul Okumu. And offside again on the Metro Lions. Now we can see both teams here have been caught Bobby with a couple of offsides and obviously they know that they have some good speed and some good strikers and they're trying to get up in behind the D and get those breaks. Yeah, I feel that uh, both sides, the midfielders, are just uh, giving each other too much room to be able to put that ball through and turn. A little bit too much work for the defenders. Kumu sends it up, right side. Now we're actually in the 47th minute, so two minutes of additional time have already gone by here in the first half. 1-0, the Lions lead. We expect probably another minute to two minutes of additional time added on. As you see there, it's just, uh, just no, there's no communication. Guys are not on the same page. We'll have to see what kind of adjustments are made in the dressing room at halftime. Wow. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> Just feel the Sun Devils have their own future in their hands, you know. We have three games in hands here. And uh, fighting for a playoff spot. Jason Baker plays it up ahead for Mike Glasgow, the goal scorer in this game for the Metro Lions. Official checks his watch. And that'll do it. Way here with the Metro Lions leading the Von Sandevils 1-0. In this contest here, and uh, again, Bobby, uh, the other thing that uh, we want to talk about a bit in the half and we can't touch on here is the, the lack of flow that we really saw in the first half. A lot of uh, offsides, a lot of throw-ins, a lot of free kicks. Really, that was taking away from, from the flow of this game and the potential for the kind of flow that this game can have with these two teams. Yeah, I know. Uh, I'm pretty sure viewers at home uh, will be kind of napping in the first half there. It's just been one of those games. It's just been very, very slow and uh, just not been a pretty game to watch in the first half at all. Hopefully we'll have a more entertaining half in the second. What are we going to look for from both teams here to start off the second half? Obviously Vaughn wants to get a little pressure on and get some offense rolling to start and, and try and tie the game up. but. What is it we're looking at from, for, from both teams here in the second half? Well, for the Metro Lions, I believe what they'll try to do maybe in the first 15 minutes is kind of see where the Sun Devils are at and, uh, you know, sit back maybe slightly and just wait to counterattack, soak up a little bit of pressure if the Sun Devils are willing to do that. And uh, for the Sun Devils, again, it's going to be one of those things where they got to be uh, on top of their game, uh, defending very well, challenging early closing up space and uh, I think a key for the Sun Devils in the second half is to get the ball out wide for the for the wingers and use the flanks. Well, Marco Casalinuovo has just been assessed a yellow card here in the first minute of the second half. So maybe not exactly the way they were hoping to start. Yeah. And Casalinuovo had come into the game in the first half strike right there on the header and Rob Tilly on the ball. Another good save by uh, Bob there, and uh, good start for the, from the Lions there. Here's a look at the scoring chance here for the Lions, and the stop by Rob Tilly.
Good tack. Big old kick here for the Lions. Ayate Smith heads it up to Gus Kuzmanis, tries to get it to Tommy Kuzmanis. He'll get the battle, Kuzmanis to the goal, but Bradley is there and comes up with it. As Tommy Kuzmanis was trying to make a bit of a rush. Kesselin Nuovo now on it. Trying to get it to Tommy Kuzmanis again, but it was broken up by Jason Baker. Yeah, Tommy had two people to contend there for, the defender on his right and the goaltender as well. And the uh, goaltender again did very well to come out and uh, force uh, Tommy to kind of back out from the challenge slightly. Last in, Dave McDonald. Now Paul Hillman. McDonald lays it up. McDonald got the head on that one. Here's a chance for the Lions and a big strike that goes well up over the goal and out of play. And almost surprising, he shot that one, Bobby. He had two of his teammates open on the left side. Well, yeah, he did have uh, two two teammates open on the, right, the left and right side. But, uh, you know, if, if that ball had gone on net, it would, still would have been a nice strike because uh, you have two players going in hard to the net. So if uh, Rob didn't uh, get a handle on that, you had two players to pounce on the ball. But yet again, uh, as you can see there, you know, uh, Dave McDonald went for the header and... Uh, the Lions were a lot eager to pick up the loose ball and uh, create that opportunity. Another break here for Mason for the Lions. Mason puts it over on the right side. Paul Hillman is here and will clear it up to center. Gus Kuzmanis chips it ahead. But as we see right there again, uh, you know, uh, Gus there up on his own and uh, nobody rushing to uh, support support him. And uh, this is where I feel the Sun Devils are, uh, you know, doing uh, very poorly. Castellin Nuovo with the throw in. Tommy Kuzmanis on the ball. A kick here for the Sun Devils. See there again, Tommy doing well, but uh, just nobody willing to uh, take the initiative here and say, "Here, here I am." Okay, yeah, all right, good. Let's see the play that they go with here. Jamara and Bayate Smith beside the ball. We'll see who goes with the kick. Smith drops Jamara low one to the goal and Bradley's there as Gus Kuzmanis was charging towards the keeper hoping for a loose ball. And it now is Mason. But it's out. We'll have another throw in here. It's been a good battle between uh, Turner and uh, Mason there. Yeah, Absolutely. Makes, makes the job very difficult. Absolutely. As I've some of these new <laughs> jersey designs in all different sports have some wacky numbers and everything. Oh, they look great, but when you're 80 feet up in the air or whatever it is in a broadcast booth trying to look down and call a, you know, it's a 12-inch number there, you don't know what the heck it is. Yeah. Offside the Metro Lions here as that was Mason trying to drive into the goal. Yeah, I believe two players there from the Metro Lions were offside. Dave McDonald. Play back upfield, Lions on it. Down, let's see. Tony Marshall. Up ahead, Ayate Smith. And one long strike early in the first half. Of that. It's a bit of a scoring chance for the Sun Devils. But really it was Smith's best opportunity of the game so far. Dave McDonald on it. Side, Tommy Kuzmanis, wide of the goal. Trying for the long strike there. Yeah, 
just uh, again. Uh, Here's Paul Hillman with a strike. With that again goes wide of the goal. I believe uh, Hillman had Marco out wide there, but uh, chose to go for the strike. But it's uh, good to see uh, the Sun Devils a little bit more uh, aggressive there in the midfield, creating a few more opportunities. LBA. Kick here for the Metro Lions. It uh, looks like Jason Baker who will take it. And Baker does get it up. Knocked down by Chris Turner. Now he has to race for it on the sideline. Up to February there to battle with him. Dave McDonald, the captain. Quarterbacking the plays here for the Sun Devils. Saw him earlier trying to rally the troops a bit when the Sun Devils had a bit of a lackadaisical attitude to kind of get to the ball. This is McDonald with it now. And again, see McDonald saying, Who's, who wants it? Give me somewhere to go. And the uh, Lions are doing very well. Mike Ranza has to plead his case for the Lions, but it will be a kick here for the Sun Devils. And young Marco did very well there to dummy the ball. As he turned away, uh, defender had taken him out. That's a little bit more like it. Antonucci tosses it in. Paul Hillman on it. Again, these are a lot of the plays slowing down the flow, Bobby. Yeah, it's just... But uh, a little bit quicker than, than what it was in the first half. That one's up over his head, though. Knocked down by the Lions. Salagrenza. Lions played up as Dave McDonald does a little backpedal but can't get to it first. That's Chris Turner take it. Turns the ball up the field. Five by Ate Smith. McDonald came in, couldn't get to it. Lions on the attack here. Mason drops it. Ends it over. Alagranza. Alagranza tries to the way from Castellan Nuovo. The game certainly has picked up a lot here. Hopefully uh, it'll continue at the same pace. I believe the linesman uh, called for Sunday was throwing, but the referee uh, believed it was uh, the Lions. Lions looking for a handball call on Marco Antonucci. Kuzmanis. Nice ball. Castellan Nuovo, right side. Around the D, but on his left side, and Patrick Bradley, the keeper, has it come right to him. Castellan Nuovo was looking for Kuzmenis on the left side there. Yeah, I was hoping that he might just take it in a little bit more. Uh, and that's where I feel the Sun Devils have to do a little bit better, is to, uh, to have more, of, uh, more, more support for some of the players. Baker will play it up for the Lions. There's a chance now. Glasgow, second of the game. And no, it's not going to happen again as Rob Tilly will come up with the ball. And that was Glasgow's third great attempt of the game. He was stopped by Rob Tilly in the first half on an excellent save. And of course, had the or has the only goal of the game as well uh, in the first minute. Uh, Chris and uh, Rob teamed up very well there. Chris did just enough to uh, allow uh, Rob to come out for the challenge. Uh, here we see uh, him coming in and uh, Chris cutting off the angle very well so he can't go inside and uh, Rob just kind of like picked up the rest of the pieces. Hey, 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 
Right back up the middle, and the Lions chipping them ahead. Another race for it. Glasgow after it. Tilly comes up with a stop. And then Tony Marshall got a piece of Alagranza. Yellow card to Marshall as Alagranza had a great chance to come in there. But as you see, Rob again uh, just doing doing a fantastic job there. As again, I can't I have to mention again. Uh, here we're looking at the replay here. And look at the challenge by Rob Tilly. He really took a chance coming out that far because there was some great speed there by Glasgow yep. to try and get to that net. Yeah, and it could have been one of those challenges where the keeper might have missed the ball and uh, taken uh, taken out uh, number nine there uh, and uh, gotten a red card. So a fantastic challenge there by Rob. And the little fake play there by the Lions didn't work as Courtney Dennis trying a little chip pass to go back to Rob DeFavory, but the wall set up by the Sun Devils able to get in there in time and clear it. Yeah, the, uh, the set plays today haven't been really, uh, really good other than the, the goal in the first half for both sides. Just so happened that the Sun Devils were caught napping on that goal in the first uh, couple minutes. Goal kick here for the Lions. Ayate Smith heads it up to Gus Kuzmanis, tries to get it to Tommy Kuzmanis. He'll get the battle. Kuzmanis to the goal, but Bradley is there and comes up with it. As Tommy Kuzmanis was trying to make a bit of a rush. Castellan Nuovo now on it. Trying to get it to Tommy Kuzmanis again, but it was broken up by Jason Baker. Yeah, Tommy had two people to contend there for the defender on his right and the goaltender as well. And the uh, goaltender again did very well to come out and uh, force uh, Tommy to kind of back out from the challenge slightly. Austin, Dave McDonald. Now Paul Hillman. McDonald lays it up. Donald got the head on that one. Here's a chance for the Lions and a big strike that goes well up over the goal and out of play. And almost surprising, he shot that one, Bobby. He had two of his teammates open on the left side. Well, yeah, he did have uh, two two teammates open on the, the left and right side. But, uh, you know, if, if that ball had gone on net, it would, still would have been a nice strike because uh, you have two players going in hard to the net. So if uh, Rob didn't... Uh, get a handle on that yet yeah, two players to pounce on the ball but yet again uh, as you can see there you know uh, Dave McDonald went for the header and uh, the Lions were a lot eager to pick up the loose ball and uh, create that opportunity another break here for Mason for the Lions Mason puts it over on the right side. Paul Hillman is there and will clear it up to center. Gus Kuzmenis chips it ahead. But as we see right there again, uh, you know, uh, Gus there up on his own and uh, nobody rushing to uh, support, support him. And uh, this is where I feel the Sun Devils are, uh, you know, doing uh, very poorly. Castellin Nuovo with the throw in. Tommy Kuzmenis on the ball. That'd be a kick here for the Sun Devils. See there again, Tommy doing well, but uh, just nobody willing to uh, take the initiative here and say, here, here I am. Okay, yeah, all right, that good. See the play that they go with here. Jamara and Bayate Smith beside the ball. We'll see who goes with the kick. Smith drops. Jamara low one to the goal and Bradley's there as Gus Kuzmanis was charging towards the keeper hoping for a loose ball. 
And now was Mason. Uh, it's out. We'll have another throw in here. It's been a good battle between uh, Turner and uh, Mason there. Ball into 